Hi there, this is a video about the AI PRM ChatGPT Chrome extension and it has grown rapidly in the last three months from zero up to 700,000 users and still growing. Um, but they have just introduced something very controversial in terms of a pricing plan going from free to uh, these premium tiers, which are pretty expensive and pretty controversial to the communities, well, to the user base as well. So I just want to record a quick video to tell you what's happened uh, and what I think basically they could have done to monetize the, the user base, but without upsetting them in a way that's going to drive them away as it looks like it has done from the, the reviews that I'm seeing so far. So let's have a look now at uh, AI PRM, the Chrome extension. What does it do? Uh, how does it work? And what's happened with this pricing stuff? So they've basically created a Chrome extension that I think is fairly simple, but you know it's fairly well executed. It sits on top of ChatGPT and it allows you to use community prompts that the community have created. Um, and also to be able to save your own prompts as well. Now, what you used to be able to do would be say, oh, that was a really useful prompt, this YouTube script creator, I just wanna you know, tailor it myself. You'd then click on this view prompt template source that this William Cole has created, and you'd be able to you know, take a look, copy it, tweak it yourself. Um, now you can't do that. If you wanted to do that, then you have to basically connect OpenAI and AI PRM accounts um, and have an APRM elite plan or higher. So ooh, let's have a look at these pricing tiers now, see what they're looking for. Yes, it's. Uh, I think it's pretty staggeringly unbelievable that this Chrome extension that sits on top of ChatGBT would be looking to charge the same as ChatGPT, $20 a month, or even more, $50 a month, or even the crazy $500 a month to become an AI PRM Titan. So they do have this uh, plus functionality as plus tier, but it seems uh, very sort of dialed back. Um, and of course you can stay on free, but I believe looking at some of the user reviews, that it's uh, very uh, constrained and restricted. And a lot of the things that you could do, you, know, you just can't do anymore. Another thing actually is this AI PRM account linking, which basically they're saying that they want you to log into open AI, log into AI PRM, connect the accounts up, but in order for them to provide their services, they're gonna need access to your name, your email, birth date, an avatar URL. So it's gone from like anonymous usage to full on, we know your name, email and birth date, which seems a little excessive from a user's uh, perspective, I'm sure. So perhaps that could have been handled in a, a different way where they didn't need uh, such personal information. I don't know. I don't know what the technical constraints are, but it's uh, another thing that people are upset about. So I think the big problem for me is that this is largely community driven, created content. So these prompts are created by the community and now the community can't use them very well and tailor them uh, unless they pay this uh, middleman that's enabled the community, not just a little bit, you know, but a, a lot of money each month, more than the actual core chat GPT itself, which I think is pretty crazy. If we have a look at some of the reviews now, um, some people, these are just recent reviews, so some people thinking it's a deception, a scam, all features disabled unless you pay. So it's asking for a $50 subscription just so you can see the actual prompt to evaluate or modify, otherwise you're relying on the trust me bro model. There's another one down here, this is a scam. Some guy in Austria found a way to get 600,000 users with a free tool, which was initially good, so far so good, but then recently in a money grab, disable much of its functionality unless you paid. Once you paid, you create a bunch of payment tiers, the lowest of which provides no discernible benefit. Certainly not features most people would want. To get features you want, you have to pay up to 500 a month and there's strictly no refund policy. Well, okay, this is just sad. I read the other reviews and thought I'd give it the benefit of the doubt, but nope, they were right, pure cash grab. 
I'm okay with being charged some well-deserved dollars for good work, but if you cripple free users to the point that the previous useful tool becomes basically unusable, on top of that, charge a ridiculously high fee, it is just a death sentence. Good luck keeping your community from going to another competing add-on. Ouch. And then the one below, this is an absolutely evil cash grab. The one useful feature is locked behind an absurd $50 a month um, paywall, which is to be able to view source prompts of which the dev isn't even the one making. That's a great point, you yeah. know. Emily says this costs even higher than ChatGPT, lol. I'm using another extension. Okay, so what do I think these guys could have done differently, right? So they've built up a community well, um, but then when they've come to actually monetize this big user base, let's not forget, they've uh, gone up and they've got 700,000 users out of nowhere. Well, I think that they could have done a couple of different things. Number one, could maybe well certainly offer more sensible pricing so having a uh, subscription tier that basically starts it's got to be less than chat gbt right so it's got to be like you got to have like a a five dollar plan right maybe a ten dollar plan but you can't have plans that unless it's like done with you you know or done for you service that are above that 20 bucks a month because you're basically saying that your software is worth more than chat gpt itself which is mind-blowing uh, so that's number one i think maybe also having a more balanced tier system that doesn't capitalize on the work of the community um, but instead sort of gives the users more powerful features uh, and more generous tiers and usage limits basically would be better than saying mm, you created these prompts guys but actually we own them and we're going to charge for access to them now. So, and the third and final option I think would be to keep the tool free and keep gaining hundreds of thousands of users every single month, uh, keep being popular in the community, but maybe then introduce uh, the potential to gently promote some AI related products and services, both in the extension itself and to the email list that you've collated through all the, uh, the signups on the tool. You know, I think that would be uh, a good way of making money off the back end rather than trying to charge users up front or a blend of uh, low subscription fee plus some affiliate stuff, you know, downstream. But let's see, maybe the pricing will change in the coming weeks or months. Uh, community certainly making their opinions known. Uh, so uh, what would you do? You know, what do you think you would do for pricing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this pricing is, is decent for the for uh, AI PRM or do you think it is outrageous? Um, what do you think of this model? So a bit of a different video today, but just for I'd seen this situation occurring in real time and it's worth uh, giving my uh, thoughts on it, my opinion. So hopefully see you guys around in a future video.